whenever you see a built structure, I'm sure there is a, a work that was done by an engineer. Why don't we form a, a federation of engineering association? And I said, Lydia, you better start organizing this, which I did. So we called the different uh, engineering associations. There were about 10. And uh, we started to talk with one another that we will federate ourselves so that we can have a common objective on certain common ideas, common issues, common problems, common challenges that we can probably work together for issues we can discuss it in a forum like a, a, uh, an association of federated engineers. I see the opportunity for us, Filipino engineers, to be elevated into a global arena as a professional engineer, at par with our foreign counterpart. One of my mission at that time, and give me some motivation to continue being a president or continue to be a member of PTC, is to elevate the status of Philippine engineer into a global status. There's a milestone in in PTC there in my, during my term uh, when we developed the uh, competency standards for advanced level engineering and we created uh, a, a manual that is being uh, used by uh, assessing uh, engineers who want to be APEC engineers and ASEAN engineers. Uh, the major project that we had then was the uh, hosting of Ca Cafeo 25. Okay. That was an important uh, event because it's the silver, it was the silver anniversary of, uh, of the ASEAN Federation of Engineering Organizations, which was started in 1982, of course, with our Tita Lidja Tansinsin as president. The preparation of, for the uh, Cafeo 25 was such a big task. We had to really make it uh, very successful, of course, uh, for the name of the PTC and of course the Philippines uh, as a uh, wonderful host of the major event. During my incumbency as president of the PTC, I include industrial engineering because industrial engineering is not within the PRC Engineering Association that uh, was in, uh, in, uh, involved in, PT, in, in PRC. So because uh, industrial engineering uh, has their own uh, examination in, in their own rank, they are not under PRC.
we are all very different persons, different organizations. There are 13 of us, and if we talk about 13 organizations, these are 13 different organizations. And I'm very proud that in spite of the you know, diversity of what we believe in, what we do, you know, we still find reasons to cooperate and work together for a common purpose. That common purpose being level up the Filipino engineering professional qualifications and having it recognized internationally. One classical example uh, that really inspires me to move on, help uh, working with PTC in regards to creating accreditation is uh, at least two of our member, member uh, engineers in the United States have been uh, granted a professional engineering title by the, by the respective boards of the state where they are practicing, the state of Nevada. Uh, our APEC engineers were afforded without taking an examination but only proving and giving the same documents, I believe, that they have submitted uh, when they applied for the uh, registration in the APEC engineering registry. So the, 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 uh, the future uh, of our Filipino professionals who have either migrated abroad but remains to be Filipino citizen or those that are working abroad will definitely benefit out of this accrediting, accreditation system which the PTC is involved. For PTC to be able to have their national engineering registry, hopefully it will really happen because as of now we do not have uh, a national engineering registry that will provide information about the uh, skills of our engineers. This particular national engineering registry will really make a difference because um, um, other countries will just look at the, in the uh, this registry to have the profiles of the engineers that we have. Challenges in the ACWET is to be able to uh, make these different rules, especially the engineering programs, that we are not doing accreditation to look at their, to criticize them, but to help them develop and make their programs more, I would say, uh, inclined with the different local and international standards so that we can compete globally. I could see that we could achieve a lot of things to teamwork and cooperation. As an, in, as an engineer, I could see that uh, we could achieve a lot in terms of directing uh, the general public, in terms of having the Philippines. Because you know, um, if you look at the growth of the Philippines, it has been a long process. And uh, I could see us graduating to the next level, from the third world to the first world. Only if we harness a directed effort, probably an engineered effort. What makes me proud is just plain and simple. People within PTC, officers, are easy to talk with and they are of helping hand to each other. And that makes an organization a different one. Unified as one and cooperate as one in order to achieve its goal collaboratively. For the 40th anniversary of PTC, unity and diversity mixed with collaboration, we go on global competitiveness that we achieve our goals towards excellence, commitment, and collaboration across the different engineering disciplines. The engineers should really be uh, cooperating with one another, especially now that uh, the uh, engineering discipline is becoming expanded. 
PTC has been established for purposes intended to promote our engineering professions. We are able to develop ourselves and uh, achieve levels of competencies that will enable us to contribute. Look at this mission of PTC and if you find that you're ready to be back, then come and help us make our mission a reality, our vision a reality for all of us, for all engineering professionals, Filipino engineering professionals, orientation they have, whatever belief they have, we believe that together we can do it. Kapwa Ininiero, mga professional, sana po, join us at PTC.